Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to my new online game. Uh, I accidentally realized that I wasn't recording yet, but we're talking to Turaga Nokama. Uh, as we discussed, Nokama is the wise leader of Gakoro uh, and helps guide the Gamatoran into their into their uh, good future. Who am I? So this is a very minor thing, but Takua actually does not know his name and has uh, amnesia. Uh, and I'll let her speak and, and say her piece first before I get into deep lore, but... I think somebody has plans for you that are greater than your stature would suggest. Perhaps you're to be a hero like the Toa. I do not know. Back in my day, and you might hear that a lot, but back in my day, there were only six Toa. And it created a problem when, you know, this team, these guys, uh, had to be differentiated because they were just called the Toa. And so they had to come up with a new name. So they're called the Toa Mata. And this, you know, kind of stayed with, stayed with the team. So, like, the Toa Mata are the guys who hang out on... Ma Mata Nui. The Toa Metru are the guys who hang out in Metru Nui. The Toa Mari are the ones who hang out in Mari Nui. And, Ma and Nui just means like great collection um, or simply, s more, more simply, island. Nui is a term used for most islands. Anyway, the Tohunga have forgotten the civilization. Even the Turaga do not have record of all that has come before. Uh, yeah, so all the Matoran. Because re remember that this this word Tohunga was replaced with Matoran after the first or second year, um, but all the Matoran woke up on this island about a thousand years ago, and that seems like a long time. But everyone's an immortal robot, so it isn't. Like most characters in Bionicle have an age that is in the like quin or hextuple digits, because people are just that old. Like they're all immortal robots and don't care. Uh, but yeah, they all woke up. A thousand years ago with no memory of who they are or what they are and the Targa were like hey we're these guys um you know we're we're gonna we're gonna help you remember we're gonna teach you how to live and we're all gonna work together on this island and be good friends and uh you know respect Mata Nui and bring honor to his name and stuff like that you know we're gonna build villages we're gonna defend ourselves from Rahi we're not gonna fight or war we're gonna protect ourselves from Makuta that sort of stuff the ocean remembers. Like history, the water holds many secrets in its forbidden depths. It surrounds Mata Nui and covers it. It watches the island as it sleeps and remembers. It caught the Toa gently when they descended and delivered them to us. So, uh, yeah, most people talk about the aftermath, but the canister is actually getting into the air. Like, they are fired from something. They go into the air and then crash back down to the water. You are an absolute in these uncertain times. Your past is forgotten, your future an empty book. You must find your own destiny, my brave adventurer. Uh, who's Gali? Gali of the Toa Water, great hero of Gakoro. Like the other Toa, she is descended from the heavens to save us from the Makuta. She's wise, strong, and quick. Um, naturally, there are uh, stereotypes and... Or not even stereotypes, like... Just things that come with being associated with water. Uh, every Ga Matoran and offshoot from them so you know ga toa ga taraga i don't know if that term is actually accurate i've never heard somebody say ga taraga but uh, all of them are female all of them are wise all of them are blue all of them are chill um and they all can breathe underwater and swim better uh even if they don't have a mask to help them Gali is the protector of the sea and the lakes and rivers that feed it. Her mask of power let her breathe freely beneath the waves. So that's another cool thing about Bionicle. Um, all these guys obviously have elemental powers. Like, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, but one thing about every character in Bionicle is that they had two powers, at least. They would have their mask power, and then they would have their elemental power. So, you know, you'll have a guy with fire power every year, and, you know, every year that guy has firepower and there's only so much new stuff that you can do with it but they'll get new masks occasionally um and those new masks will do things so uh tahu the guy in year one has the mask of shielding so he can be defensive but also use fire blasts pohatu this guy here has the mask of speed so like he's really strong through just being connected with stone because he's the toe of stone uh but his mask lets him be really fast. And Gali just lets her breathe under the water. Because all of the heroes of year one have, like, how do I, like, kind of boring masks, but very, very practical masks, you know? Like speed, strength, sight, uh, breath. Just very, very open and shut, obvious practical masks that aren't that cool, but uh, 
help get the job done, you know? And in later years, like 06 in particular, all the Toa have really weird masks um, that really shake up how they fight and how they move and how they work. Uh, and like they, they supplement those into their normal like elemental stuff and their fighting styles and like they end up being really mechanically unusual. Uh, what a Maku. She often sneaks out of the village to buy, spy on Huki. I mentioned this in the first episode, but this SC was added to this word. And Huki, uh, it's still pronounced this way. Um, but it's H-E-W-K-I-I, I think. The Koli champion. She tells me she is just practicing her boating, but I know the truth. It's too dangerous for her outside of the village now. For her safety, I forbid her to go, but her wandering saved us this time. If in your travels to Pokoro, you should meet Huki, tell him she is safe. He may have heard of the attack and will be worried. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Good luck, brave adventurer. And then, do we have anything new here? Okay, cool. So, yeah, like, obviously, it's Lego. So you have quite the ability to build your own stuff, build your own story, you know? Um, and so in the art community, many might know the term OC, which just means original character. Uh, so like, you know, you draw a guy, this is my OC, you know, and it might just be a, a, a cool design that you like to draw. Um, often the case for me. Uh, take me to Powahi. Um, it might be somebody that you're writing a book or a comic about. And in the Lego and Bionicle community, there was a thing called MOC, My Own Creation. Um, and so, like, the rules are being set up pretty clearly in Bionicle Year One for you to, like, make your own, you know, your MOC. And, like, I did that as a kid. I had, you know, essentially a cast of Bionicle characters that I had invented and had lore and actually made videos about because this is actually my second channel. Um, I've said too much. Anyway, eh, what's that? Don't get too many travels around Powahi these days. Uh, what can I do for you? Boat, information, or souvenir? Powahi, uh, there's not much to it. Mostly sand. Lots of sand. Uh, the canyons, which are real pretty to look at, if the sun or Rahi don't get you first. And the Path of Prophecies, which the ancient carvers made. Pokoro is a decent place, and don't miss the games. Most everyone around Matanui turns up to see a Koli match. This spelling was changed. Koli was changed to, like, K-O-H-L-I-I, -I, I think. Uh, when they're on. Everyone turns up to see a Koli match when they're on. Haven't had too many visitors lately, though. Uh, well, goodbye. Stay out of the sun. You can see that that's Golly fighting a... What does this say? I think this says something really silly. Like, I went to Powahi and all I got was this silly t-shirt. Another Mata Nui stone. Yeah, I don't remember how to read these. I'm sorry. There's one of these that I spent a lot of time translating and I was so upset when I finished the translation. Because uh, it just says, like, copyright the Lego group. And it's just, like, some mush. This is the Miru, Mask of Levitation. It's worn by Liwa. It's the Pakari, Mask of Strength. It's worn by uh, me, but also it's worn by Onua. Cacao, Mask of Water Breathing. We know that one. Kakama, Mask of Speed. Talked about that one already. How Mask of Shielding. And the Akaku, Mask of Vision. Uh, I think it's specifically x-ray vision, but uh, there's also a lens in the in one of the eyes that lets you see telescopically. What's good, my man? Can you guess what it is yet? I think that's Mount Ihu in the background. I think that's what that's called. Howdy, traveler. Need to crab to Onokoro. Awful dark, but Puku knows the way. This spelling was also changed. These are Usul or Usul crabs. Uh, and this spelling was changed to P-E-W-K. 
Yu Yu, I want to say. Who is Puku? Puku is a retired race crab. Used to belong to none other than Onepu himself. Took the title three times with him. Been long in the tooth now, but fast. Heard there's another race coming up. Catch it if you're in town. Uh, what race? Who scraps are strong and loyal. They help us with many things, from mining to transportation, but mostly racing. I'm usually at the track, but with all the problems these days, there isn't much time for it. Onokura is the great undercity of Onuwahi, where the mines sink as deep as Mount Ihu is tall. The wise Manua rules there. Oh, well, bye now. Ride to Crab. Yeah, sure. Hello. <laughs> this says crab wax, I believe, or useful wax. So yeah, a little austere down here. Oh, that was stock dripping noise. I love the candles melted into their heads. Charga, the mining guilds have hit an underground rock layer they can't break through. We fear the protodermis will run out if we can't continue our digging. How far does it run? Shafts three and eight have uh, ceased uh, protodermis mining because they can't break through the rock layer. It's the entire mining area. Yes, Taraga. For all we know, it extends beneath all of Mata Nui except perhaps the Manga Volcano. You sure there's no soft salt to dig through? Every inch of the surface. There's no fractures or fault lanes or nothing. How much, the, how much remains of the surface deposits? They are running out. We may have to look somewhere else for protodermis, like Ta or Pohuwahi. Pohuwahi. What is this layer made out of? Uh, we think it's rock, but it has higher organic levels than any mineral composite we've seen. Organic? Yeah, there's more in common with a useful crab shell than any normal stone strata. I wonder what we'll find when we break through. Draga, I must have more men and more machines if we're to know. You must allocate more resources to the mining guilds. Captain, I'm doing everything we can. No one wants to see the protodermis run out, but Onukura has many problems right now. Our fresh supply of lightstones, you can't dig the digging site. Have you been able to take you continue tunneling at all? We're at 25% capacity. It's too dark to work safely. Lake Hero Highway must be completed soon. We need safe passages between the village. We cannot con ask our workers to continue under these traditions. Taipu says he can dig by torchlight without difficulty. Taipu is stubborn and strong, but he is slow even when he has a team of diggers to back him up. One, to one Matoran cannot dig a tunnel to Lake Koro. Foreman, until we repair the flood damage, there's little I can do. You can give us more Matoran and more equipment. The guilds and traders have extra. We can use those. They do not have extra, and how would it help if they did? The air is bad because of the torches, and the Rahi attacks frequently because of the darkness. If we had more workers, we could alternate teams before they get ill, put more guards on duty. I understand the problems you're facing. I'm doing everything in my power to get you help. But you must be patient. I will not tolerate the delay. The trade guilds have contracts with po four of Pokoro's most influential altruists. Understand and do everything I can. Protodermis production is stopped. Stone masons are slowed by the darkness. And half the shipments were lost to Rahi attacks. Takor and torches are being used to light the stone quarries now. Those deliveries will be made. The Kofu Jagger are not afraid of torchlight. What are the Protodermis? The Ponukorans cannot... They would normally just say Pomatoran. Cannot train stone for nothing. The mine captains are working to break through the rock layer. Till then, there's nothing we can do. If they can make goods from the protodermis, without it, they cannot trade for stone. We will lose that market. There are other markets. And what are the highway? It was to be finished months ago. My caravans refuse to travel to the south until it's complete. Lake Orans will have to come trade at our market until it is finished. They try, but they can uh, they can no more come north than we can go south. Perhaps the sea's a better route. You're more dangerous right in the waters than on land. What about Onua? Is he doing nothing to help Onukoro? Onua did not ascend from the heavens to help your prophets, Guildmaster. He's pursuing a great quest that may save us all. I demand more attention be, tra uh, be paid to the needs of the trade guilds. The guild mar the great market is Onukoro's most valuable asset. I will speak with Onepu. Perhaps he can spare an escort for your caravan so that the highway is complete. So yeah, there's there are like economies and stuff going on down here. Uh, I don't remember if I actually had to do any of this. Torches! Don't be left in the dark. A ta takoran made. Fresh fish. Imported fish from Gakoro. Get your fresh fish. Souvenirs. Excellent pom pomatoran craftsmanship. So yeah, like, again, 
we have these super powerful ancient robots that are trading uh, shiny rocks for fish. More useful crabs. <laughs> they have a good face fault. All right, I uh, I think I'm going the wrong place, but I'm having a good time doing it. Strange disc on the ground is the only feature this rock layer has. I'm not sure what it is. They look like astrological symbols. If I knew one, I'd have some questions for them. Do you know any astrologers? I do. Take this message and deliver it. I've sketched out this disc. Maybe your friend could figure out if it means anything. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the things that is like... It's one of those huge, gigantic Chekhov's guns that came back ten years later, but... Uh, underneath what appears to be the entire island is a thick layer of metal that feels organic. Uh, I'm a prospector for the mining guild. We're trying to figure out how to get through this rock layer and mine more protodermis and stone. Yeah, the one on the ground over there. It's covered with strange symbols. Don't know how it can be buried here, so underground. And sunk into the hard rock. It's very mysterious. Well, goodbye. Again, you can see that these are just clearly, like, Lego pieces. Um, I'm going to strut back to Gakoro off camera, and then uh, I'll pick up the recording again. But until then, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been more of the Mata Nui Online game. I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.